Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whacking it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, start a mix You're chewing that one, Thanos fans. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another SH Figure Arts action figure review on the Bandai Tamashi Nation's Justice League Movies SH Figure Arts Flash. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I actually really like the Flash from this movie, and I'm very curious to see how this figure comes out. Interesting to not see a window box. I'm used to seeing windows with my SH Figure Arts, but anyway, nice packaging. I like how on the top you can see the flash symbol right over there on the side you get a nice product shot on the back you can see a bunch of different poses and then on this side it says the flash you can see it kind of wraps around right there I like this red in the background too I think that looks pretty cool not much more at the bottom just says a flash and some stuff in kanji or Japanese I don't know exactly but anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the flash out of the packaging and one thing I got to say just right from the beginning over here uh, this is my favorite flash action figure from the Justice League movie so far I do not have the Mafex figure I here, that's a good one, but I don't know, man. Uh, just based off of images and having this in hand, I really like this a lot. This is a great looking piece, all kinds of awesome articulation, great paint and sculpt throughout. So yeah, let's get a closer look. So these are the only accessories that come with this Flash figure, and it's not a cheap piece, even if you're buying overseas, you know what I mean? But in the US, it does cost more. I wish it came with lightning effects. You know, we have these beautiful Bandai Tamashi Nations lightning effects, so that would have been cool to have this. I did take pictures with the figure, uh, if these applied and everything. But you can see that we get a pair of fisted hands, we get these flat running hands, and then we get these wide open hands, and they all look pretty good. You can see some nice texturing right there. I like that a lot. I wish we had those weird floppy finger hands when he was running towards the end of the movie. What the heck was up with that? He's like digging like that. It's so weird. But yeah, you can see the flat hand right there. Uh, we get the wide open hand. You can see some fingernails sculpted in there too. That's really cool. And then of course we get the fisted hands. I absolutely love how the head sculpt came out for this Flash figure. I think they nailed the Ezra Miller Flash. Uh, I think they just totally captured the likeness over here. Uh, I'm just blown away by it. Uh, to compare it to uh, the DC Multiverse 2 pack Flash right there, you can see. I mean, this one still looks like Ezra, Ezra Miller a little bit, but not as much as this one. Not nearly as much. I, mean, I really love the flesh tone that we're getting over here. I like how the mouth is painted, the eyes. I like how the mask looks and the helmet and everything. Really good job. You can even see some flesh shadowing or shading right there. I dig that. The gold right here on the side looks really good. You can see the texturing in the helmet. All the grooves. All the sculpted detail here is just really impressive for me. I'm loving it. Look at that. That is great. I like that biker helmet thing. I thought that was a smart choice for the design anyway. I liked it. And looking at the rest of the suit, which looks really cool. You got all these wires and everything. The lightning bolt looks great. It's pretty, I would have actually preferred more of a circle right here, I don't know. Feels like it's kind of getting crushed by these chest plates, but I mean really, I think they did a great job with this. Nice clean gold paint apps throughout. I'm really digging this a lot, and that looks spectacular. I love all these intricate details. Looks great. Lightning bolts right there on the hips. Great adaptation from the comic version. And then we get the gray butt right there. Legs look really good. Got these different pieces right over here. I like how these, like, more, uh, I don't know, these look like a little bit more like armor pieces, you know? They kind of have a little bit of a glossier paint to them. They reflect lights a little bit differently. I think that's great. Lightning bolts right here on the side. On the shoes. I didn't notice that he had them on the calves before. Hmm. And that looks really good. I'm really liking these. It's very smooth at the bottom. Would have been nice to see some treads at the bottom of the feet, but I think that's a very minor complaint. You can get his head and neck joints, both making his head look up. That looks great. I guess it could look up more so, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not really complaining about that. Uh, you can't move the head all the way downward. You also get side to side motion right there at the neck and the head joint, and you do get a great amount of head pivoting between those two joints as well. We do get a butterfly joint right here at the armpit, so that is awesome. I love having that. And then this is all sculpted and detailed out all the way through. 
That looks awesome. It does shift up and down right over here at the shoulder as well. You can move the shoulders outward and you can move them down that far. You could rotate 360. No bicep swivel, but we do get the double jointed elbows. Wish this could stay in more. Kind of wants to go back, but I don't know. We get this peg right here and you get a swivel and then you could hinge it side to side or up and down depending on how you have that configured. You know how the SH figure arts go at the wrist. Uh, you get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You'll crunch forward just the tiniest bit and then back more so. Uh, barely any crunching right there, and the pivot is a little weird. Yeah, yeah. And then you get a lot more range of motion right here at the waist. Look at that. Way more pivoting at the waist. Crunches forward a lot more at the waist and back more so, and you can turn that side to side. The hips can shift up and down, so you can get the legs moving outward all the way, so he can almost do the splits. Not quite. Uh, you can get him kicking forward very far and back that much. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then the ankles are on ball joints, so you can turn them downward, you can turn them upward. They rotate side to side. He does have ankle pivot and he does come with articulation. Uh, one thing worth mentioning is that during that articulation segment, I did pop the left leg out a little bit. It took me a second to figure it out, but I was able to pop it right back in. So to measure out this figure, you can see that the flash is standing, uh, I just want to say under six and a half inches tall. And then for your Ezra Miller flash comparison, we have the two-pack flash figure from DC Multiverse compared to the SH Figure Arts. And you can see that this guy's a little bit shorter as most SH Figure Arts are compared to American figures. And then here's the Ezra Miller Flash figure next to some other Justice League figures, which I consider to be my favorite six inch scale Justice League figures in my collection. Uh, we have the Mayfex Wonder Woman movies, Wonder Woman, and then we have the BVS Batman and Superman. I think these are both from the BVS movie, if I can remember correctly. It's hard for me to remember things these days. But I think Flash scales pretty well with the Wonder Woman over here. He's a little shorter than her, but I think that's okay. Uh, I just think he looks really puny next to the Batman over there, though. But I don't know. I, I still think that this could work. It's just that these Mezco figures are just extremely bulky in comparison to these import figures. And then here's the Flash figure next to your average section scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, finally, somebody who likes to race. Huh, you, you want to race? Sweet. Okay, just hold on one second. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Uh oh <laughs> gotta give you guys a big thanks for watching my video, especially those of you that watch these videos all the way from the beginning to the end. It really does help the channel out a lot, as well as when you hit that like button if you like the video, and please leave your comment down below letting me know what you think of this video review along with the figure, and subscribe if you haven't already, as well as hit that notification bell. I really like this figure a lot, man. I mean, look at that pose. I have him on both sets of toes right over there. That's not easy to do, especially on a rotating base. It did take some time, but it's awesome that I can get the figure to do that. I really do that pose a lot. The fact that I'm able to do it, I think it's great. I think the figure looks great. I think my complaints are very minor, like the treads underneath the bottom of the feet. I guess there's some gaps right there at the waist, you know, so little tiny things here and there, but it doesn't keep me from giving this a sud rating of... <laughs> And I'm curious to know what you think of this figure, and I'm also curious to know if you have both this figure and the Mafex figure, which one do you think is better? So I'm really curious to know what you think of that. Uh, but again, please leave your comments down below. If you want to stay in touch with me, and if you want to see a photo gallery of images, you should be able to see it over at toynewseye.com and shardmasprime.net. And stay in touch with me on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.